People magazine spoke with the sister and friends of Elizabeth Edwards, getting an inside look at the events that finally pulled the couple apart. People's executive editor Betsy Glick is here with more on that. Good morning. Hi, Harry. Take me back to this meeting between Elizabeth Edwards and the child. What happened there? And what, what give me the lead up, what transpired, and was that finally the sort of straw that broke the camel's back? Well, as recently as Christmas, so just exactly a month ago, mm -hmm. Elizabeth reached out to this little girl, the daughter of her husband's mistress, right. and brought this little girl Christmas presents and was excited when the girl liked the Christmas presents and insisted that the little girl, Frances Quinn, take a picture with Daddy. So as recently as a month ago, Elizabeth was trying to embrace this new reality in her life. And as we all know, she, she basically, she couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. She's done. Right. What is wrong with this picture, though? I mean, this notion of her going to meet this child and lavishing the child with presents and everything else, the word denial comes up in, in application to both of these people, it seems to me. I, I, I mean, yes, it, obviously it does. On the other hand, her friends and his friends paint a portrait of a couple who were married for more than 30 years, mm -hmm. who have had four children together, right. uh, one of whom is sick, who are trying to keep it together right. under really difficult and unusual circumstances. Um, is there also, though, this sense as these things continue to unfold that neither of these people were who they appeared to be? Well. I haven't read the Andrew Young book. I can't really speak to that. Mm -hmm. Both of them have denied a lot of the things right. in that book. Sure. Uh, clearly, what was going on behind the scenes was much more complicated right. and much less perfect than, than what they tried to present to the public. What was the most important thing you felt like you got? Because you talked with, uh, people talked with her sister, right? Absolutely. And what was the most important message you felt like? was coming from, from uh, her sister. I think the most important message is that Elizabeth really has now said, I've had it, I am moving on with my life, and she is trying to embrace the next chapter of her life. Mm. Betsy, thanks for, so much for coming in this sure. morning. I really appreciate it.